I was a bricklayer before I joined. Brother served before I did, he only did three years, four years. I thought that's what I would do. I thought, oh, I'll just do the four years, just experience it. But then we did a, you know, the first tour, 2009, 2010, a bit rough. Like a tour was put, just incredibly kinetic. So it just eased off the gas when we got back to Battalion. Um, really nice, Battalion was full, like 500 men plus. So it was nice, just relaxing. And then sports like again, so it's like the boxing, the rugby. I'm just a massive rugby fan. So when I had an opportunity to play for Battalion, the years just rolled by. And then before I realised it, I was like, well, I'm 31, I'm still a Gars man. But it's something I, you know, I'll be proud of until the day I die. There's always been an interest, being strong. It's always in, you know, sort of caught my eye and my attention. Somebody brought all the strongman kit into a gym that I train at. And when I saw it, um, I just started training with it and then caught the bug. I think I found what I'm good at, yeah. I'm really good within six weeks of training. I entered my first comp and won it. I won every single event on the day which was, excuse me, which was England's most powerful man, novice. Um, smashed five out of five events. Um, Britain's strongest novice came fourth. And I've also been invited now on the 3rd of November to the World Team Championships. So that's to take on the strongest men, literally the strongest men on the planet. Um, so I'm really looking forward to that. And that's the space, that's all within the space of taking up two years ago. Nothing comes close to the passion I feel for this sport. I don't understand why, I don't know why. Maybe because I'm doing so well and um, I don't wake up on a Sunday morning as if I've been in a car crash, as if you would if you're playing a game of rugby. But obviously training hard hurts and competing hurts, but uh, I've never felt such a drive for this sport ever. I do things like I went to Pencoy College and spoke to their sports sports and science group and um, their like, sports and development groups. These, some of these kids are amazing. Um, come from all, walks, you know, all sorts of walks of life. And some people, some, some people get lost and just take someone who's just, um, just put them back on that path. Yeah, just motivation, I think, is key. And you're just trying to help. That's all you're just trying to help. And just trying to put a bit, a bit more, less hatred into the world. A bit more, a bit more love in it. If we loved a lot more, this world would be a better place. To win any sort of award or any sort of accolade, it's just, just a nice thing to be acknowledged for it. So I'd be over the moon, yeah. Especially if, if even to be shortlisted, even to be nominated is uh, an achievement. To win it would be something else, yeah. I'd be, I'd be well, well chuffed, yeah.